Thank you for joining our webinar. I am Yuka Ueno in charge of overseas sales of Fukuda Sangyo. We Fukuda Sangyo are Japanese medical device manufacturer. We have been developing and manufacturing spirometer for more than 50 years. Now, I am so excited to introduce our new model spirometer, and I believe I can give you so valuable information today. So please listen to my webinar to the end. Then let's get started. This is our new model spirometer, Spiral Analyzer ST190. Firstly, I would like to show you just the basic functions of our spirometer, but our latest spirometer, Spiral Analyzer ST190, has much more innovative function, so-called dynamic lung hyperinflation measurement. I will share this information in this webinar. Our spirometer can measure the basic spirometry parameters, vital capacity, forced vital capacity, maximum voluntary ventilation, minute ventilation, and pre-post measurement. Our, spir our, our spirometer is completely made in Japan, and we have confidences in the high quality resulting from our meticulous manufacturing process. Our flight flow sensor can detect low flow and get the accurate measurement value. So potential COPD can be found by your sensor. Our spirometer has a great accuracy with our know-how of developing and manufacturing pulmonary function test devices for a long time. We have the certificate of ISO 13485 and now we are working to acquire a CE marking targeting 2022. Spile Analyzer ST190 that I introduced today has already been selling to domestic and Asian markets. Then let me show you our revolutionary function, dynamic lung hyperinflation of our latest model, Spile Analyzer ST190 from now on. Firstly, I am honored to introduce a very important key physician who has developed this function. Dr. Keisaku Fujimoto is a professor of the Department of Clinical Laboratory Science at Shinshu University. Spiral Analyzer ST190 includes Dr. Fujimoto's hyperventilation method. Dr. Fujimoto has concluded that measuring dynamic lung hyperinflation with our spiral analyzer ST190 is economical and easy solutions for all patients. Then I'd like to explain about dynamic lung hyperinflation, so called DLH. DLH is one of the characteristic phenomena of COPD patients. And it is said that the fundamental pathology that causes exogenous risk near in COPD patients are DLH and airflow obstruction. When inhaled air increases in the lungs more and more, as the respiratory rate increases, which causes the lungs to become hyperinflated, and also the critical factors of exogenous risk near and deterioration of exercise tolerance in COPD patients. These pathologies are critical factors for symptoms and severity of the patient, and its alleviation is an important goal for the treatment. Then I'd like to briefly introduce how this DLH is tested and assessed. In the conventional measurement method, the patients have been made to inhale maximally during exercise load and DLH was assessed by the degrees of the inspiratory capacity. Then I'd like to show you the exercise tolerance test by video. 
This video was supervised by Dr. Fujimoto. This is a test with treadmill. The patient walk on moving, moving floor. As you can see, patient must wear or attach stuff such as mask, SPO2 sensor, and ECG electrolyte during exercising. And this test is repeated two times and measure the maximum inspiration every two minutes during exercising. This is a test with ergometer that patient pedal the bicycle. What do you think if COPD patient or elderly takes this exercise tolerance test? Actually, very difficult to do these exercises. The cause of exercise discontinuation is lower limb fatigue and the current situation is that VLH cannot be measured well. Then, Dr. Fujimoto focused on the fact that VLH occurs depending on the respiratory rate and the respiratory rate gradually increases from the resting place is in step 20, 30, and 40 breaths, and the inspiratory capacity is measured by each step. And by verifying the degrees of the inspiratory capacity, he has developed a simple and quantitative method to assess the LH. This is a one and innovative function of our new model spell analyzer ST190 hyperventilation method. And I will introduce to you this DLH measurement using our spirometer on video. By the way, please understand that the device you will see in this video is domestic model and all indications are in Japanese. But actually, ST190 is an overseas version, so its indication is in English. Here is a video of DLH measurement using our spirometer. The first thing is the measurement of the inspiratory capacity at rest. Then it starts to measure hyperventilation of 20 times per minute. Operator's call and buzzer sound can help patients of the timing for inhaling and exhaling. LED indicators also helps the patient's timing when inhale and exhale. So patient can take tests in accordance with these indicators and buzzer sounds. Now measuring inspiratory capacity. Then, this measurement is 30 times per minute. Now, measuring inspiratory capacity. This thing is a final measurement, 40 times per minute. Now, inhaling maximally. As you can see, our spirometry can measure the LH just sitting on the chair. It is much easier than the exercise tolerance test as mentioned earlier and the expensive and large equipment are not required. Then DLH measurement with ST190 can be assessed quantitatively. Furthermore, for COPD patients and elderly, this is there is no discontinuation in testing due to lower limb muscle fatigue and no risks for falling down. Lastly, I'd like to explain the measurement result by hyperventilation method developed by Dr. Fujimoto. This is the test DLS measurement result. The data on the left is from a healthy person and the data on the top shows 
the actual measurement record. And it is an actual graph with 20, 30, and 40 breaths per minute, and the inspiratory capacity at the end of each step were measured. The graph shows the change in the inspiratory capacity. The data of healthy person, the inspiratory capacity does not change even if the respiratory rate increases. On the other hand, the data on the right is from COPD patient. This actual data shows that the inspiratory capacity gradually decreases as the respiratory rate increases. The result of the inspiratory capacity by the graph, it clearly shows that it decreases as the respiratory rate increases. Dr. Fujimoto said, this method would be very useful in daily clinical practice. Our spiral analyzer ST190 has such an innovative function in addition to basic parameters of spirometers. You may be able to find a lot of spirometers in the world, but this is only one spirometer having this unique and innovative function on the planet. And we hope our spiral analyzer ST190 will be helpful for the daily patient care and we wish to help patients suffering from respiratory disorders to alleviate pain and restore health. Then time is almost up. Is everything okay? Can you understand about hyperventilation method and DLH measurement function? The fact SD190 had the other function, line manometry, that measures nasal potency. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to share the information about it and also all your questions here. So please send us any kinds of questions and requirements individually. In addition, you can find our direct email address in our survey here, and you can fill in your quick feedback and send my requirements by email. And also, you can move on to our website and blog from the link on our survey. If you visit our blog, www.fukudasangyo-spirometer.com, and you can enter your email address and receive our newsletter. As you can see, you ha we have own account of Instagram and Facebook, so please follow us. Lastly, a full video supervised by Dr. Fujimoto in this webinar can be watched in our account page of Medical Fair Asia. And also, you can check out our company's instruction video, which shows another innovative function, biomimetry, on our ST190. Then, thank you for listening and joining our webinar today. I was so happy to be here. And we are waiting for your email soon. Have a great day. Thank you. <laughs>